My name is Deception, and today we are doing Minecraft Monday's Utopia. So something's unusual about this video. You haven't seen my face in a long, long, long time, have you? Hello. So you guys may be wondering, why, Deception, did you take face cam away and then bring it back? My anxiety is weird. It depends on my mood, what I'm feeling, what I'm vibing with. So today, I felt confident enough to have a face cam. Floofy. Also. I have carpal tunnel. What's my life? I got so... <laughs> I didn't know where I was for a minute. <laughs> I was like... Cute pigs? What? Welcome back. Okay, y'all loud. As you guys can see, I've made a lot, a lot of improvements since you guys last have seen Utopia's Deception Ocean Town. First of all, we have iron doors that lead to a magical place here. Let's go outside really fast. When you're walking into Ocean Town, you see this this beautiful, beautiful border with uh, everything that matches lovely, nicely. It's gorgeous. You push this little button, be able to come into like the main area where you can go towards the, the mine, which I have to put up a sign for it. And then you'll be able to come here and I have a plan going, right? Okay. So right now it's easy to get inside of Ocean Town using the button, you just push the button. Well, in time, I want to find redstone, and then here's what we're gonna do. Um, I, hang on, I'll show you guys. I have a pressure plate on this side, right? So if we go back out here, everybody will get a passport. If you throw an item, did you hear that click? You probably didn't hear the click. But it'll click and it will open the door that is gonna be on either side of whatever pressure plate that it is. And then you collect it when you're done and then you're in ocean town so that's the plan that way it'll be more of like a literal different country that's the whole big shebang shebang no son stay in the sky we have a bunch of make babies pigs in the piggy tank which has not been labeled yet either this right here is uh, something that we're gonna be working on in today's episode this is the building site of the oceanside eatery so this will be our first like actual thing inside of Ocean Town that's considered to be a business. Garden now on this side. What it is is there's potatoes down here and up here there are carrots. And then I will make this two stories sooner than later, but we need to go inside now because it's starting to become nap time. There are oogly spoogly googlies that are coming out. Oh, and Dino said that he pranked me. Nice place you got here. Just made it better from Dino. So after we go to sleep, we can do better checking around to see exactly what happened. What do you mean by making it better? Nothing looks different. Did he give me bow and arrows? Cause that wasn't there before. Be oh, I had the beetroot soup. Um, My chest have been organized. Are you kidding me? You organized my freaking chest. Oh, I have been diddled. That's a great prank, Dino. Oh no, I won't pay attention. Oh, I almost didn't make it. I'm not so sure that two story garden wasn't a good idea because they're not really growing. I was gonna make my garden three stories. See, I'm not sure it's a good idea now that I'm looking at it. Do you guys like potatoes too? Poison potato. No one needs a poison potato. As you guys can see, I come on behind the scenes and I do a lot of stuff just to make sure that we stay on track. I figured it'd be kind of cute for us to leave like um a pond or something. So people can probably get in and out of here. I'll eventually close that off for now. It's wow, that grew fast. This could be the entrance right here. Like the uh, wait to be seated kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? I would like for there to be an indoor outdoor section. Oh, and this is where the kitchen is gonna connect to the garden to be able to get the food that, you know, would be cool. I'm thinking about putting this here. That way we have an indoor outdoor thing like I was saying. I was actually gonna change the floor to something else that wasn't, you know, red. Hmm, the ditrite pops more, but I think the granite flows better. We could put this in the furnace and make it smooth, which would probably be prettier than this. Let's go check that out, actually. Great, nighttime. No one likes nighttime. Why does it have to be freaking nighttime all the time? We'll start with four so we're not wasting wood. Wait, can't... Oh, does it not? I thought you can smooth it out. Is that not a thing? I was so sure that was a thing. There's a speeder over there. If y'all guys really hate it that much, I can change it in the next episode. The eatery is way too small. That spider just hurt itself. Good job, spider. Facing a dilemma. Outside with the two people sitting area, that's cute. I can, I can see that. But inside, we're not gonna have enough room for like being a comfortable environment. All right, so the issue that I'm facing right now is the fact that the wood 
does not match. Uh, why do I have a birch sapling? It is ever so random. I blame Dino, because he always likes birch trees. Sure, it's a tiny little kitchen. I'll figure it out. I'll finish it up here in a little bit. Let me, what are you doing? Come on. You're unnecessarily extra. No, nighttime, why? I'm busy being productive. There we go, now we have a little theme. That's nice, very good. Symmetrical, even, pretty, other things. It seems to me I didn't get all the wood out of that tree because it has not, oh, apple. Oh God. Uh. Ah, getting back up there, that is a problem. Plans, I just got a new idea. Why don't we make this? two stories. I don't know why I like two story things. Like tall things. I understand now how this is going to be done. The second story will be the kitchen. That is ideal, man. I want this place to be lit up beautifully from windows, not from like creepy torches. This is not this is not a dungeon. It's coming together so nicely. All right. So the entire bottom floor is kind of done. The the building is done. We still have to do um put in all the furniture and that kind of stuff. It actually looks pretty cute. I, I was worried it wasn't gonna come out really all that nice, but so far it's definitely turning out really nicely. So this is gonna be a really small eatery. I guess we can extend it in time. First crafting, ta crafting table, crafting table. This entire top layer is gonna be like this, but then have like a layer of glass at the top of it. It's gonna look cool, well not, layer of glass on top. It'll be the middle row. They'll always be able to peer out and look over at the peasants down below. Tight knit base, but I think it'll work. I think it'll look good. It looks cute. The ocean, look at the construction work that's going on over there and wonder what's going on exactly and they're never gonna answer. Oh, I know what we're missing. Decor, duh. There we go. That, so there's two. You know what though? It looks symmetrical. Didn't we go for the tell you the thing? No, 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 I need it. It's mine, it's mine, mine, mine. Yes, connections. I'm not expecting a lot of people. So I don't think the eatery really needs to go all bazonkers on their space, but it's not a half bad little. Oh, cauldrons. I'm missing cauldrons. Symmetry, nice. It's always a pleasure, symmetry. Always a pleasure. Oh, there it is. I was like, I'm not, what, 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 what are you doing? Come here. Your mind to have. But because Ocean Town needs to have like a castle-y vibe, which is why I don't mind the square rooftops. When you walk in, please seat yourself. You could choose outdoor <laughs> seating or indoor seating. We have a beautiful view of the ocean and its majesty since it is the ocean side eatery. Throw a circle kind of thing and be able to go right back outside, close the door behind you because so you don't want gnats and other bugs out here. You can sit outside, wait for somebody. This is an employee only entrance. This goes right up into the beautiful kitchen, which has chests and chests for chests and chests beyond chests and all those good things like that. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, like this video and subscribe to me for more craziness in the future. Ask a question of the day in the comments below. Whoever gives me oh, please, one of the coolest comments will get a shout out on Twitter. Check me out on Patreon if you want to support the channel more. You don't really have to, but it's an available option if you wanted to. And that's pretty much it. You guys have officially been decepted all. Hold on, I can do my crazy outro. Give me one second. See you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, thank you, Dino, for um, doing the organization on the chest. Much appreciated. Goodbye. Okay,